get it, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back editing in with another episode of The Celebrity John. Dima, bang your music! Listen, guys, it's 2024, and I understand things are tough. Things are expensive. Food is expensive. And stop the show. Even clapping cheeks is expensive. Booty clapping sounds! <laughs> but hey, every time in life where, you know, things go wrong, you know what? There are some good people to give you a helping hand. And sometimes you need some help. And ultimately, people that help you can not always be your friends or family. Sometimes you might get strangers to help you because there are still some good people in the world. There are people who will give you an opportunity and see what you're trying to do in life and help you go to the next level. But stop the show again. Well, but you don't have to help everybody, right? Rewind! There is a story about this Atlanta female that, you know, she went viral for all the wrong reasons. Um, her name is Haitia Moet. And basically, I believe that she's like a streamer and she was living in Atlanta. And for whatever reason, this young lady um, went homeless, okay? Or she got homeless. And that can happen in America, that can happen anywhere, right? And I'm not here to make fun of anybody who was homeless or who has been homeless because life can happen to anyone. But, you know, this young lady is going through some hard times, right? And while she was talking about how she basically was homeless, there was a guy that offered to help her in another state, that state being California. So I want you to hear what Moet had to say. We're going to come back. Hey, y'all, yeah, what's good? My name is Haitia Moet. I go by Moet Goddess on another platform. I just wanted to come to you guys to tell you guys my story about my current situation, what I'm going through. Um, I wanted to start off by saying I am homeless. I am a homeless woman. And I'm homeless in a different state across the country. Um, the reason why I'm homeless is because I was bullied and harassed by some trolls on another aisle. And um, it caused for me to get removed from my living situation. So um, there was a gentleman that reached out to me who said, you do not have to be homeless in Atlanta. You could be homeless in California. I will change your life. Pack up all your stuff, throw out everything, just bring your clothes, and I will change your life. So I did just that. I drove 35 hours to California, okay? And it was it was a it was a false dream. My life was not changed. Um, and now I'm here stuck in Vegas. I am homeless. And I'm just trying to figure life out. So yeah, I'm going through it right now. Right now I feel like I have no nobody that cares. Nobody cares about me. I feel like it's just me and God. I feel like I'm in a, on a journey by myself. And I'm just trying to figure life out right now. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I just wanted to show you guys my story i'm homeless in vegas and i'm homeless due to bullying and harassment from trolls okay so say no to bullying say no to trolls that harass people innocent people for no reason say no to that um treat others the way you want to be treated and always keep god first i'm just going through it all and i just wanted to document my journey um right now I'm just trying to figure life out, and yeah. So, um, I just hope something good comes out of the situation. I know that God won't give you something that you can't handle, but yeah, I'm homeless. And I would have never thought that I would be coming to this point a few months ago. And with just a few months, this is my journey, this is what I'm going through. So yeah and this is not even half like if you guys look me up Moet Goddess Bigo if you look me up on YouTube you'll be able to find out my whole story 
okay so um yeah i'm just going through a lot right now so i just wanted to go ahead and see if anybody has ever been through similar situations like this what have you did to correct the situation and have you ever drove 35 hours by faith with no address thinking that a man will change your life okay so maybe hopefully somebody could relate to this and maybe somebody could give me some advice just reach out to me and yeah I'm homeless in Vegas so she's accusing this guy of basically you know not helping her she drove all this far now she's in las vegas and you know the dude didn't do any of the things that you know he said he would do now she's talking like she's a real victim you know she's a victim of bullying the reason why she's homeless is not because of her own mismanagement it's because of somebody else and so the, there's a guy shout out to him by the name of the real big poppy underscore uh, I believe he has the IG sleepy CJ and he basically is going to clap back at all of these allegations that she said. What's up y'all? I'm the gentleman she was talking about in that last video, Haitian Moet or known as Charlene Jones from Atlanta, Georgia. This girl was homeless with $12 in her account. She lying me, Poppy, I'm finna be homeless. I, I don't got nowhere to go. I say, girl, you can stay in my backyard. Uh, you can come stay in my backyard. You can go lie back there. This girl woke up in the morning with no address and pulled up. Drove all the way across the country. She's pulling up. I still honor my word. I still say, you know what? She came out here. I gave her, bought her a first room hotel stay. $600. She ran up to the car. Got her four more rooms. She ran up to $1,500. Got her food. And when I was live, I let her chill in here. She made thousands of dollars on Cash App. A mother day. She made thousands of dollars on Beagle Live, and she was doing her big ones right here. So whatever she trying to paint picture, it's not it. Then we also got to remember this lady is older than me. She's 35 years old. I'm in my 20s. So this girl, she just deleted my comments right now. I'll put it right here. Clearly, I told her she begged to be in my backyard. So now she's deleting comments because she wants to paint a narrative out there. Also, paint this narrative, Moet. Tell the people when I offered you to come inside, when I went outside, I was like, hey, Moet, you hungry? You thirsty? You want some snacks? Oh, yeah, go get me some fruit. Go get me some water. I said, okay, are you cold? Do you want to come stay inside? I got a room for you. She said, okay, I don't want to step over your boundaries. I said, no, you good. I go to the store. I'm driving back. She's texting me, oh, I want to be with you. I want to lay with you. I want to f*** you. I over here just got a whole room for her all cleaned out to where she can go live and broadcast and not be homeless. But now she want to paint a picture. She was disrespectful. Everybody, nobody knows this lady was disrespectful. Because imagine if y'all try to offer someone, a homeless person, a place to stay. And you are the only one at the house. And then they text you that they want to f*** you and come be with you and lay with you and be all up in you and like... Learn some respect. You older than me, cuz. Cut the act out. Cut the social media content out. We get you doing it for Bigo. We get you doing it now for TikTok. But now you're just taking my kindness for weakness, cuz I really just tried to help this lady out. And the whole app knows it. It was live in front of everybody. Man, it just sucks for someone to just turn a situation that could have been very nice and chill into a whole, like, Baby reindeer, what the f type of weird shit going on over here? Like, and I'm chilling with she over here witnessed the whole thing. I do want to make this very clear. This girl was crashing out on live after I got her hotel room, screaming on the freeway. I want to stay in the backyard. Let me in, Poppy. Why did I come out here? Let me in the back. All right. I let her in the back. So peep game, y'all. Everybody, everybody on Beagle Live, look at the comments because she's deleting the comments on her TikTok Live. I will not delete no comments in my live. Y'all can say whatever y'all want in the comments right here. And everybody knows this. She ran up hundreds of dollars every night here. And every night here, I told her, Moet, 
Do you want to go get a room? We got the money. No. She don't want to get a room. So this girl will get thousands of dollars cash app, thousands of dollars on Bego, and she don't want to get a room. Basically, he's saying that, you know, she came into his home um, in the backyard. She was staying in the backyard. She was making money. She was on Bego. He got her hotels and he did all these things for her and everything like that. But, you know, basically she's unappreciative and she was basically trying to get her cheeks clapped. Booty clapping sounds! Um, by, 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 by him. So, you know, she's a scammer. She didn't, you know, she was trying to use him. But stop the show. But bro, I want to ask you a question. Why would you let some homeless person that you didn't know in your house? Your house, your house, your house. Because bruh, you know, I'm looking at your page. You know, you got your things going on. It seemed like you were in the sports betting and you showing cash and all of this. Like, yo, man, um, and I don't, I don't know how legit this is, but it looks like, you know, you, you winning some money. You're letting somebody that you don't know stay in your house that you just don't know. Like, what if that person's a killer or whatever? And this is what I'm talking about, man. It's like, if you didn't put yourself out there for somebody that was homeless, when you're online flashing, you know, your money and you're doing good and everything, yeah, man, like, you know, what Like, what do you expect? And this is what I'm trying to tell a lot of you men out there. I know you guys want to help women, and it's nice that you want to help women and all of that. But listen, man, women are not your responsibility, okay? You know, if they are homeless and, you know, that's what they're going through, they got programs for that all right uh they have programs that they can help women and children and that's why we pay taxes to help the less fortunate you don't need to move right into your house okay because you're going to come across situations like this where you know the lady might say you did this to her or she didn't do that or you was it and now you got a problem let them deal with it so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.